Good morning everyone and welcome to Tracy's Cakes. My name is Tracy Mann, Tracy Mann Cakes. This is my beautiful daughter Kelly and Kelly is going to be doing a Facebook Live this morning painting sunflowers for Pride. So I'm here in the background because I've got this enormous wedding cake I'm trying to deal with so I'm going to be off on one side. My Facebook Live moment is going over very very quickly um, and Kelly will be taking over and doing you a very nice paint this morning. So we're going to be using the Patchwork Cutter Sunflower Cutter and she's going to paint it in all of the pride colours that we have at the moment for pride month yes it's the last day of pride month, it's the last so. day of pride month today so we're making sure that we've done um, we've done the paint that we had planned for quite a period of time yeah. trying to pin kelly down to actually do it is something else um but we are going to be doing that this morning so if you've got any questions you'd like to ask about cocoa butter or any of those things good morning sylvia then do please let us know and kelly will then jump in and answer them for you or i will from the other side of the room where i will be <laughs> trying to sort this cake out yeah. so i'm going to be disappearing very very shortly and kelly is going to be taking on there you go hi everyone got your little fan club there you're all right <laughs> it's the cocoa nutters <laughs> <laughs> so she's a I'd say she's a little bit nervous, but she's not really, are you? I don't know. No, you're fine. Um, so Kelly's going to get started in just a minute. So grab yourself a cup of tea and we're going to, or she's going to work her way through the sunflower thing. Say, I'm not here. Pretend I don't exist. Um, if you can see behind me, that's the cake from last night's Sugar and Crumbs demonstration, which I have now put onto YouTube. So if you did miss it last night because you're out watching all the football, then you can now go back and watch it. But I'm going to just start putting some links up and things in a, in a second while Kelly's busy painting anyway. So mm -hmm. If you do want to see how the butterfly cake was made last night, then you're okay. Look, your whole fan club's here. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Everyone be nice to Kelly. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous, but it'll be okay. She'll be fine, no problem at all. So there you go, look. Yeah, all I know. <laughs> They all love you, Kelly, you yeah. see. It's not that bad. Thank you. Okay, so once Kelly, we've done this again, we will put them onto the YouTube channel. So if you ever want to catch up with what's going on, then there is the YouTube channel, which is Tracy Man Cake. So all our videos get uploaded onto there, including the one from last night, which is already now live. Um, so if you do want to have a look, there you go, Maureen's on for you. Yeah, uh, they're all there saying amazing. hello. <laughs> Do you know what's funny is that I know them all through like mail order. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yes. <laughs> Kelly does all my mail order if you haven't already worked that one out. So occasionally I get involved. That's where it normally Aww. goes wrong. This what is, is what I call a free gift. Oh, there you go. It's Yay. a freebie for you. So there you go. You've got lots of people on there now. Thank Comes you. Sharon's on. She is the sunflower queen. Oh, wait, what size is it on? I don't know. You. <laughs> I'm the one with the sunflower tattoo. Kelly's got a sunflower tattoo. There you go. It looks just like the patchwork cutter. Yeah, it does. Literally it. looks exact, exactly I think just took, like the patch. We just took it along and embossed her, really. Yeah. That's what happened, wasn't yeah. it? Angela's on. She better be on her exercise bike. That's all I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to hand over to the glamorous Kelly. And um, I'm going to be sat over there. So we'll have to, one has to behave. But yes. I'm going to leave her to it now to do her painting and have a chat with you and see yes. how you get on. So enjoy. This is her first live, apart from the colour theory class, yeah. um, which she did on a private group. So um, I've been peer pressured to be here. No, you haven't. Yeah. <laughs> what load of rubbish. Should I just change the camera now? Well, you can carry on talking like, and then you can change it whenever about? you're ready. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. <laughs> Happy Pride, everyone. Um, so mum has done a couple lives with the sunflower embosser. This is on the website. It's this one here. I, and uh, there's also a kit and a class online about it as well. So you can paint it in loads and loads of different ways. So that's the class there. And then also mum did a live where she used, um, what are they called? The, the Wonder Dust. Wonder Dust. Sugar and Crumbs Wonder Dusts. Um, so it's my turn to do my own take on it. So I'm going to do it rainbow. Okay. So um, over here I have every pride colour. So here we go. So these are all available on the website. So we've got like, actually quite a lot of these are available in the cocoa butter painting kit. The only ones that aren't in it are the grape violet, the tangerine and the cerulean blue. Those are the only three that don't come in like the main kit. So I have all the main colours as well. So I've got red, petal blue, dusky pink, um, black, um, spring green, uh, primrose. There's not a lot of it left. And then snowflake. Oh, and I think I'm brown. Oh, and brown. Yes. Okay, so those are all the colours I'm using. And I've already put them... Can you see? Yes. I've already put them onto here. And they fit perfectly completely all of them and then I looked at mum and I said uh 
that where do I put the cocoa butter? So I've had to move the brown right to there. So yeah, so I shall start now. Um, so we took this embosser and have pushed it um, three. Oh, I'll move that out of the way. Um, three different ways into the sugar paste. Satinara oh, it's Satinara sugar paste, which is also on the website, is it? No, no? we don't sell it. Sugar I'm thinking of it. Saracino, aren't I? Yeah. Yes. No, it's not it will begin with S anyway. So yes, we've used this embosser and just pushed it onto some sugar paste and created a nice little pattern. So I'm going to clean my brush first. I don't know what brush number, oh, this is number two. I never use a number two, but mum's given me a number two. You can have what you want. My brush of choice is zero. Um, yeah, these people don't want to be here till five Yes, I love using a zero brush, but maybe I'll start with a one and see how we go. So I'm just taking the cocoa butter from here and just cleaning my brush like this until it, like all the red comes off it. I just realized we need red. It's probably the first color, but it could have had anything else on it, so. Okay, so I've already put the red um, dust in here. There was already a little bit of cocoa butter in there, that's why it's a little bit um, of a different color. So I'm just going to take some cocoa butter and get a nice red. And then, I'm keeping an eye on you now. Oh, the live up. Oh, thanks, Mum. Okay. I've got my number one supporter here. So <laughs> my, <laughs> my, <laughs> I'm like, where do I start? Okay, we're being brave and we're just going for it. But if your brush is too big, do you want number one? I'm using number one. Oh, okay. I think number one's quite a good size. Okay. I mean, I prefer to use a zero, but I don't want everyone sitting here until the next, next pride. Well, I'll still be doing the same paint. I just thought it'd be nice. So how many colours is that? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, what seven, eight, red? nine, ten. Primrose. Red, tangerine. Yeah. Primrose. Yeah. <laughs> Someone says, oh, Kelly, sometimes you sound like your mum when you're talking. Um, spring green, petal blue, uh, grape violet, cerulean blue, brown, dusky pink white blue white well there's two blues yeah that's right yes um should i just paint randomly red you can paint whatever you want <laughs> there's so many colors okay do i just okay well, there's no plan to this so there I'm... is no plan mum just said just paint it'll be all right <laughs> so in true tracy man fashion i'm doing just that that's normally how our lives go in it mum yeah, we just work around it. We'll be fine. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just eight. Just Google the flag. Nine, ten colours. Is that right? Just Google the picture. Oh, right? woodland green. Oh, no. Spring, Spring green. green. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I really like this red, actually. Sorry. It's very nice. But you can paint this however you want. There's, like, loads and loads of different ways you can probably paint this. So, oh, thanks, Mum, for writing all that. Thank you. You're turning into my PA. I'm now your PA. It's, the tables have turned. <laughs> yeah, it's called revenge, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. It'll be all right, though. So I'm just going to randomly paint a couple petals on each. Don't lean on that sugar paste. I'm not leaning on the sugar paste. Are you watching me? Is that how you knew I was leaning on the sugar paste? They all thought, <laughs> they all thought Childline had come to get you yesterday. Why? Oh, because I wasn't on the live. I forgot. Basically, um, my friend was in Scotland um, visiting her mum and um, she goes, oh, would you like to do something um, like when I come back? And I was like, yeah, of course, like no worries. So I told mum, I was like, oh, I'm going to see my friend. And she was like, okay, yeah. And the penny hadn't dropped. And yesterday she came up to me and she goes, Kelly, what day is it? And I was like, I don't know. And she goes, something significant is happening today. And I was thinking, what on earth is she talking about? And I just went, happy anniversary. I was like, I don't know what day it is. And she's like, Kelly, what day of the week is it? And I was like, oh no, it's Tuesday. <laughs> so Childline hasn't come to get me yet. Um, I haven't been fed any chocolate though this morning. So well, I haven't seen you yet. Yeah, that's also very true. They're almost worried about you that you've been... Disappeared. I'm not disappearing, don't worry. I've just 
I just don't have very good organisation skills, let's face it. <laughs> so if the colour's a little bit translucent, you can see that like this one's much deeper than this one. If you wait for it to dry, you can just go back over the top and make the colour a little bit deeper. I think looks nice. And less like streaky, that's the word. Yeah. So once they're dried, you can just go back over them if you want to give them like a second coat or anything. I'm going to do this one here. I'm just painting randomly. There really is no plan. There's so many colours, but I think it will look very nice. And sunflowers are my favourite flowers. So Wait, who was the other lady who liked sunflowers? She Sharon. did the sunflower cake. Sharon. Yeah. We're the sunflower girls. So yeah. What else can I talk about, Mum, today? What's going on in my life that's exciting? <laughs> oh, I work at a bubble tea shop now. Well, they all want to know bubble tea. Right? Okay, so bubble day. tea is, um, it's it originated in Taiwan, and it's basically Taiwanese or Chinese um, tea, um, and it comes in, like, loads and loads and loads of different flavours. So it's basically just, like... Um, tea you can have like fruit tea you know like you know iced tea kind of thing so just like normal lemon tea or it's not like an english breakfast basically it's the complete opposite of an english breakfast with like tons of sugar in it or like different flavors but i've made mum try some haven't i yes it was an interesting experience it's got little balls at the bottom that are called um pearls and um, they like pop or you chew them in your mouth it's a uh, interesting one i would say even dad tried it it was really funny yeah he looked pleased he said it wasn't that bad but most of the time i came home with a bright purple one the other day which is taro and taro is like a type of yam and it sounds disgusting and sometimes you know they are but that one's real good really nice and they're popular aren't they they are really popular we always have a queue outside of our shop always i was trying to understand the other day who the demographic was and you were saying it was literally everybody. everybody i think because like the area we live in and like the the branch or like the brand um of bubble tea shop that i work at um is more catered towards like not just like people who've had it before you know like in china or something it's like for everyone like there's a lot of different flavors we even have a creme brulee flavor anyway sorry um i'm just gonna clean my brush <laughs> and go start on the next color which is the tangerine but if you don't have the tangerine it's this one here you could mix the um red and the primrose together if you wanted to rather than buying one it so where are you going to put that next? You put it next to the red, away from the red. Yeah, I'll put it next to the red. I think maybe, or maybe randomly. Well, I was just thinking color theory, Kelly. Don't say that. <laughs> There's no plan to this, and I'm looking, and I'm like, have I done too many? I don't know. I think with the tangerine, I don't know how bright it is. Can I try it out on the tea towel? Does it work Ooh. like that? I'm just going to try out the tangerine to see how. Okay, no, it's a nice orange. I like that. It's very bright, actually. That's surprising for cocoa butter, because we were speaking about it earlier that the the purple, you were like, oh, I don't want you to use that purple. You wanted me <laughs> to use a different purple, but we couldn't find it. The, um, what's it called again? Wonder Dusts. Wonder Dusts. Have a really nice purple. It's this one on here. Purple Haze or something, I think it's this called. This one. So it's um like luster. And it's really nice, but it wouldn't be the only luster colour on here, but I still think it would have looked really nice. I'm concentrating. I'm thinking if I don't manage to get all these colours on the petals, I can use the side, um, the middle bit, and do the the per the deep blue and the black and the white. Yeah. You were oh I've put that in the Sorry, wrong colour. Sorry, I momentarily was looking at some, an email. That's all right. I just put my paintbrush in the wrong colour. Oops. It's okay though. Okay. Carrying on. I've cleaned my brush. It's all good. I think this will look really nice. Was this your idea or was this my idea? Mine, probably. Oh, <laughs> oh excuse me. No, Kelly. I, I think didn't. it was your idea. I'm not too sure, though. Well, I'm admitted to all the ones that... Um, I just can't yours. remember. Thing is, we planned to do this so 
like at the beginning of the month or like on the 12th or something but then I got a, the job at the bubble tea shop which was quite unexpected and we just had trouble coordinating me to come to the lives basically yeah we did yeah well, I'm, I'm trying I really like this orange sorry I really think it's nice isn't that nice it's really pretty orange tangerine has Kelly's Kelly's seal of approval I think yeah but there's also I said earlier you can buy um, the embosser with what colours does the embosser come with? It's like primrose. What for the sunflower? For the sunflower one. Um, you can buy a kit online. I'll have a look. Maybe uh, you'll be there putting the link up before I get anywhere near it. She's faster than me. <laughs> 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 um, hold on, I'll tell you. I wonder who else says that, Kelly. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. It's fine. Yeah, Everything is fine. Got lots of my catchphrases, haven't you, Kelly? Yeah. I mean, we've spent enough time together. Especially in lockdown. Yeah, especially in <laughs> lockdown. And we're still alive, aren't we, Kel? We've Just still about, managed to, no, I'm kidding. We've managed to put up with each other. I know, and work with each other every day. Yeah, I haven't got anything else. Go back to this one. Look at that. So I'm just picking some random ones to... Yeah, she does it so fast. What, me? No, Nikki. Get Mum, nice I do it really fast. Oh, there we go, and you. Right, it is tangerine, sunset orange, primrose and brown. That's pretty much every colour I'm using, except yeah. from the sunset orange. So those are the colours for the lesson. Yes. I think they're very nice. I really like this orange. I'm a big fan. But I'm going to move on to the best colour of them now. I think once I just do this, I'm just going to see... Oh, she is quicker than me, thank goodness. Who? Nikki. Ah. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. I know, I feel like I haven't seen anyone in a while. Did I miss last week's live? Yes, yeah, Marella did last week as well. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I am still alive. And this is not, my... And you're not here Saturday. This is my apology video. Why aren't I here Saturday? Oh, yeah. You're working. It's because it... Oh, sorry, I just realised I'm a little bit off camera there. Um... Yeah, my new job is just very busy all the time that um, I've managed to get a lot of shifts. And I'm still working for mum, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Here I am. You're still doing the mail order. Still doing the mail order. Still baking cupcakes all the time. Now, on here, I may or may not have spilt a little bit too much primrose. Um, but it's okay. We can just... She's been let off the hook. Yeah, mum said it was fine, so it wasn't much left in the pot, that's why it all came out. Well, now there's definitely nothing left in the pot, but um, I'm just going to... Do you normally use white with your primrose? No, not if you're doing it for pride, I think you probably just want primrose on it. Tonight. Yeah, you want vibrant colours, I think they look really nice. Okay, right, so now we're going to start with the yellow. Where should I put the yellow? I am I running out of space yet? Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm good. Well, not so. I am. I take after my mother. It's when we go right. Yeah, that looks like it'll be good. Yeah, let's do that as a live, and we're looking at each other, and at the end, we're like, "Wow, that went really well." Yeah, that was a fluke. Last night's was a bit of a fluke as oh, well. Oh, really? I thought your cake last night was really Yeah, good. but it went very quiet at one point because I think everybody thought it was going to go wrong. Oh. <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was a job to see where it was going, but it's fine. Oh, well, I think it turned out very nice in the Thank end. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. Right. Where should I do the next one? Hmm. I wonder if I did this in order, I think it would have gone much worse. Do you know what I mean? As in, like, I'd have to sit and count, and I think this live would go on forever. You know, I'd be like, one, two, three, okay, red, one, two, three, four, five, red. That's why I said just do it randomly. randomly. I think randomly looks nice as well, but though. But you can always go back and put another colour back in if you yeah. want to, rather than run out. Hmm. Where should I put this next one? I'm really trying to think about it, but at the same time, I'm trying to not be too too thoughtful i guess there's like a randomness to it that might look might be the look you know can you still see yeah okay cool 
<laughs> Maureen, Kelly, we have Childline on fast style. <laughs> I missed everyone too. I was actually kind of upset that I was missing the live yesterday. I was like, oh no, that everyone's going to think I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah, on the last day of the month that we plan, well, we plan to do this so early in the month and it's literally taken this long for me to do it. Take note, I'm not leaning on the sugar paste, I'm trying my hardest. This is quite soft sugar paste as well, we literally just embossed it. We did that before we went live. I'll have to do a live log when I go on my travels. Okay. Shall I do that? Shall I log on and I'll just be like, hi everyone. Yeah. I'm do doing that. some cocoa butter painting in the middle of... <laughs> Korea or something. You can do that on um, your colour theory page. On my colour theory page. If you want Kelly travel updates <laughs> when I'm away, that's what I'm going to start doing. That would be quite funny. I think that would be really fun. Like, how do you make this colour? And it's like uh, the Kremlin in Russia or something. Kremlin in Russia is red. I don't know why that took me that long. What's that? The Kremlin, or like um, Red Square, is red, obviously, I don't know. Well, you've been there. I have, and it's called, um, the colour red in Russian is Krasibul, and Krasibai, wait, oh no, Krasny, sorry, and Krasibu. Krasny is the colour red, and Krasibu means uh, beautiful, and basically the red square used to be called the beautiful square. But then it's also red as well, so it's like kind of works the same way. Russian lesson with Kelly. Anyway, um, you're telling them you're having Russian. Lessons, yes. So there you go. We've proved. I it. have Russian tomorrow, so now I'm just going to go in with the spring green as well, and just start putting that one in. I really do hope I have enough room. I think I will. I think everything is okay. I think so. Yes, I have my Russian lessons once a week. It seems that, I remember when I logged on, what was it, like one or two weeks ago? Everyone was like, why aren't you in Russian lesson? And I was like, oh, everyone knows my timetable better than me. My friend Nicola's on, who speaks a million different languages. Hi, Nicola. And she's saying, Kelly's an international correspondent, I put like me. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Go on, Mum, do your Russian. Absolutely none. No yeah, you can. I can act. I'm the charades person of the um of a of a um language. I act out what I want. <laughs> like, ooh, I'm ooh, really bad at I'm really ooh. bad at charades. So yeah. <laughs> no, you can say hello in Russian. Привет. Yes. See, I think Nicola will be impressed with that. Yeah, look at her. It's how long have I been learning Russian? Five years. Yeah. And it's taken her five years to just learn Privet. Yeah. I'm okay, I can say hello, and that's all I need. Yeah. I'll act out the rest. Oh, God. I always remember when I used to have my teacher come to my house before COVID. She'd come in the house, and we'd have a little conversation in Russian. Then she'd look at my mum and be like, Dobro or something, which means good morning. Mum would just be like, yes, hi, hello, Angela. <laughs> she like, I'm really sorry, I, do, I can't. It's only because I look completely mad. Are you concentrating now? Well, I'm trying to concentrate, but I'm not Sorry. getting on very well. Now. It's because Nicola's on now. I know. That's fine. No, you carry on. I am carrying on. I've actually stitched myself up because I've got those photos I sent to my phone. My iPad hasn't come through. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. We set up today, and then Mum goes, Oh, I've realised that I haven't taken the pictures off my phone, and we had to rearrange absolutely everything. Oh. Russian morning with Kelly. Dobre utra means good morning. That's I don't know what uh, sunflower is though. I feel like that maybe. What I should... in Russian? Yeah, I don't know what Ooh, it is. Kelly. I know. Can you Google it, Mum? Yeah, but I'm not here to read. Yes, you will. Well, uh, why don't Kelly sound it out? <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing I've never learned. Oh, well, you need to find out that. Somewhere. I guess I do. You'll ask Angela. I'll just Google it later. I guess. I'll take you to Russia one day, yeah? We'll do Mummy and Kelly. Um, we'll do lives in Russia. We'll do our cake painting lives in Russia. Cake painting global. 
Or Coco Nut is on tour. <laughs> How does that sound? Yeah. Mum's always trying to make me go on holiday with her. Like, no, no, we went on holiday. We went on holiday <laughs> together once. Literally once. And um, oh, Maureen's asking if there's a let yeah, shop. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, sorry. I'm ahead of you. Okay, well. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So mum and I went on holiday once. So my school, everyone in my school... Um, so I took art and textiles and it was like a compulsory kind of trip to go to the Gambia. But basically the school turned around and said it's not safe for Kelly to go because everything's got peanuts in it. So basically I would starve and they were worried that I might eat a nut. So they said, like, we advise you that you don't go. So I didn't go. And instead, mum said, well, if you've got no classes, why don't we go to... Why don't we go on holiday together? So mum looked at the Eurostar and where did we go, mum? Brussels. Brussels. <laughs> so we went on a, a four or three day um, planned trip, unplanned trip to Brussels and we turned up and we both looked at each other and went, we've not planned this. Mum basically just said, I want to go to the Christmas markets. I said, oh, Christmas markets, that sounds like fun. Yeah. Um, there, we had nothing planned at all. And we literally just walked around aimlessly for like two days. We saw what's it called, mannequin piss, about four times. Went to the museum for it, dressed it. It was a very centered holiday around that one thing. It was um, an interesting holiday to say the least. And I went on it when I was about 17, and I haven't been on holiday with mum since. And it's not very nice, is it? Peanuts? It wasn't My bad. son has a peanut allergy. Yeah, I'd, I'm not actually allergic to peanuts, but. I just don't think I should eat them just in case it develops. Because over time, my grandma always said that um, my allergy would get better and um, it's just gotten worse. Yeah, I'd say it's got worse. So it's just not the best idea. I don't know. Well, we had a very interesting time in Brussels and we still talk about it now. <laughs> it was just so funny. Like we were just walking around like, what, what do we do? Can you push it up a tiny bit? This? No, no, not the camera. You're... This. Yeah, that's it. I wasn't painting anything off the screen though. Okay, well, it's, no, it's just a bit low down the screen. Sorry. So it's better now. So I've got to reach a mile for it now. Is that better? Is it similar? I don't know, Mum. We'll have a look on the screen. Yeah? Yeah, that's better. You have to paint in weird positions. Yeah. This, Sometimes on lives, Mum comes off and she goes, Oh, my arm, because she's been sat in the weirdest positions. She doesn't moan, though. Do you carry an EpiPen, Kelly? God, yeah. Yeah, I carry about two or three. Mum's drilled it into me. The fact that the first time I went to a pub with my friends, um, uh, we ordered a cocktail. We ordered a woo-woo. If you know what a woo-woo is, it's literally cranberry juice and, like, vodka, I'm pretty sure. And I made my friend ask if it's got nuts in it. That's embarrassing, because Mum had told me to make sure everything doesn't have nuts in it. I think, I don't know, I don't want to try it, but amaretto is like almonds, isn't it? No, let's not do that. No, I'm not trying it, but it smells like cherry bakewell. So I've just started to run out of cocoa butter now, so I'm just gonna add some into this little bit here. Is that enough? I guess so. We'll find out. So I'm just gonna clean my brush before the next color as well. And I'm going to go in with, um, mm, interesting, what do I go in with next, mummy? I'll go the cerulean blue, oh, I'll turn it around a bit more, sorry. This one here, this cerulean blue, it's quite a deep blue. I will see if I need to add any white to it, because it might be a bit too dark, and I don't want to make it too dull, because it's happy. Some flowers are really nice, so I'm just going to... Test it out on here. Yeah, it's very, very dark. So I'm just going to add some white to it. I'm just going to do that. And then I'm just going to pick up some white. Is this a good idea? Or should I? <laughs> Mummy. What? Putting white and cerulean blue. Is that good? Is yeah, that what you normally be. do? Okay, cool. Definitely. Okay. Why are you doing it now and just realising? I no, don't I know. But definitely put. Yeah? yeah. Okay, cool. I've got mum's seal of approval. Yeah. Yes. Right. So 
we've got an, let's test How many it. How colours have you got left? You've gone through quite a few. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I've got cool. black, white, brown, dusky pink, petal blue, and grape violet left. Well, you literally would be doing one petal per sunflower. Yeah, I know. Otherwise, you're not going to fit them all in. No, no, no. I'm going to do the middles, like the light blue and the... Because if you look at the pride flag... Yeah, so what does that take out? How many colours does that take I out? I don't know. I might have to get a reference picture. Okay, so this is the aim. So this is what the reference is. Can you see? Yes. Okay, so we've these are the main colours. And then you have these additional ones. So I'm thinking I might do the additional ones, like in the seed bit. Bit in the middle. Bit in the middle. Nice technical way to yeah. say that then. Yeah, these ones in the middle, I'm thinking. But we'll see how it goes. What I'm saying is, if you... If you, how many are you going to put in the middle? Two colours? Mm, I might do different middles for each one. Okay, I think maybe. I'm just trying to make sure you get them all in, that's all. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's a nice blue. That's really nice. Okay, add white to your cerulean blue so it's not so dark. This is quite a nice blue, actually. I thought it would be much like duller and not as um, uh, vibrant. I think it looks really pretty. But I prefer petal blue. Actually, no, I don't. I really like this one. I changed my mind. Okay. I'm going to start on this one as well. Um, hmm. Where do I put this? Here. Ooh, I hope it looks okay. Do, what do you think for me? I think so. Yeah, no, it's coming on well. When I did art school with your oh, mum, she just laughed. Oh, right, yeah, I've had loads of um, stories about this, Nicola. And, her, and her cookery. And, and the, the cookery. But then my French was horrific, so... Yeah, yeah mum used her. to sit in French and just be like, oh. Oh, God, I used to hate it so much, and Nicola was so good. So Nicola is my friend from school, who is currently on at the moment, and I'm telling you now, she's brilliant at French, and I was appalling. And Maybe so, Nicola's my real mum, that's why oh, I'm so is, good yeah. at languages. Oh, so bad. So bad. I just hate it. Well, maybe um, you were the one that was really good at languages. No, I was really bad. <laughs> I can was tell. Really, Mika was really bad at art, so that's fine. Yeah, we've heard lots of stories about wait, what are they called? Button biscuits. The what? The jam jam the buns. Jam buns. Jam buns. I love making jam buns. During lockdown, I made some, and Mum walked in the kitchen. She just burst out laughing, and then she proceeded to tell me a story about jam buns. Nicholas terrible jam buns like on a serious scale. I think there's a lot She'll be on to deny it in a minute. Come and stay with me in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I think on top of that list. <laughs> we'll go to Disneyland. That's my main name. Whenever it's like, oh, we're going to France. Like that's a thing with my like our family. Is that we've never been to France for any other purpose except Disneyland. So we went to Paris for a day. Went to Paris. One, one, so we've been to Disneyland Paris twice. And Paris for one day. And we went to Paris <laughs> once one for one day. And it wasn't even a full day. I think we stayed there for lunch and then went home for dinner, didn't we? Yeah, something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. We're more focused on Disney, I guess. That's the main aim for all our holidays. Can we get to Disneyland is the answer yes. Right. I have more le petals, not leaves, on this one than so I if do. If this goes well, Kelly, you can do a live one on the way. Oh, God. Mum's going away, and she's leaving me in charge of her business. Yeah. So if you don't get your emails answered, it's, <laughs> well, I'm gonna do it's my fault. <laughs> You've got to just do the mail order and the lives. That's Oh, no. What? You can do a live, can't you? Yeah, I guess. I don't know what to do. Any recommendations on lives, anyone? Well, I'm going to make you paint something. Oh, what would you like me to paint? I don't know. I'm going to set you up for something. Can you push back up again? Oh, I'm struggling. Okay. I'm going to have to turn it. Is that okay? Can I paint here? Yes. Fine. Try not to get my hand in the way. At the same time, not move the sugar paste and lean on the sugar paste at the same time. Otherwise, I'll get told off. <laughs> you can do a live. You'll be fine. I know. What do people want to see, though? Well, I'll make you paint something. Oh, look, Nikki's like us. She's been to Disney Paris twice and Florida five times. Yeah, there you go. We love Disney. Oh, no, Nicola's 
Here we go. Right, yeah. I made jam buns in cookery, this is my friend, with Tracy. We shared an oven. And I was about 13 at the time. And my jam buns are on top and uh, they melted on top of my perfect jam buns. That, it was just horrendous. How much jam buns did you put, um, jam, and did you put in your jam buns? Well, no, it was the jam buns, they collapsed. Oh, God. So all that was left was spots of jam oh, on a tray of liquid that, cookies. On, in my cookery class, so I took um, cookery, like, uh, GCSE. And there were like three people per oven, but you could only use um, two um, shelves in the oven. And basically, um, one of the girls had made a lasagna and um, the boy who put his cake below her had made uh, a Victoria sponge. Who was that? Ellie. Oh my goodness. She, the lasagna started bubbling over and started leaking all over this cake. So you basically had a Victoria sponge cake with a topping of lasagna. It was like dripping in the oven and it was so hot. And like the teacher was like, no, 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 don't get it out. Don't get it out. The cake won't rise. But the cake was like covered in <laughs> lasagna. Yeah. School cookery is like everyone has a story from school cookery. I have many as well. Mrs. Me too. What other ones do I have from school cookery? Oh, lactose intolerant customers. No, Mum, I might get my GCSE <laughs> taken away from me. <laughs> so you won't mention that one. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't cheat or anything. That sounds like I cheated, but I haven't cheated in my exams. Am I still on camera? Yes. Could you show me how to paint a human model? Oh, gosh. That's a high pressure. Be here for hours, Mo. You want me to sit here for hours painting? I could paint a little scenery, but I guess it might take me a bit long, wouldn't it? Yeah, we'll have a think. We'll have a little think about it. Do life drawing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. So next colour I'm going to go in is the Grape Violet, which is also really dark. So I am going to add some white to it, but we would have liked to have used the... Um, What's it called again? Well, he wandered us, but I've put it somewhere. The wandered purple us. one, I don't know what I've done with it. But either way. I've got all the others, but that one is vanished somewhere, so it can't be far away. I've probably taken it home. You need to put some white in it. Yeah, I have. Can you see on there? So the, the colour is a lot, a lot, lot, lot less um, dark. I think it should be okay, though. Let's have a look. It's going to get messy. Yeah. It's like a little lilac colour. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this and then once I paint these petals I'll go in with the other colours fill them in. What's this? Jam buns we had. We had an intention on top. God, Mum, I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> You're right, keep going. I was, oh gosh, I'm sorry. My, so I have to know what colour, Nicola wants to know what colour you're using for the middle of the flower. The middle of the flower. I might use multiple. Multiple colours, Nicola. So, um, oh, is Nicola following along? She is following along. She, okay. I would expect her now to be doing this. Yes, me too. Do you know what this reminds me of? This actually like reminds me of like a language class, you know, when you have like a paint by numbers and you have to put like rot in where the red is. And yeah. I don't know any other colours in French. Is that even French? I don't think it's French. Don't ask me. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. Like Schwarz, where the black is. Yeah. That always reminds me that secondary school like when you're first learning like german or french you always get like coloring in homework that was the only language homework that i'd do in a heartbeat i love coloring in remember when i did russian as well she gave me like a little parrot to color in and every single week she kept bringing it for a good like four weeks or something she was like have i given you this i was like no just wanted to color in the parrot again yeah so nicola's on telling you rot is red in german yes apparently. Sorry, I don't I know that. any French. I don't. It's probably rouge or something. Yeah, that's right. That's I about think. The extent of my language yeah, skills. I took German for five years and studied Russian for rouge. I think Nicola would be impressed with my accent. Then I thought. Uh, I, I think so too, Mum. I really French. felt like I was in France. Yeah. Um. Yes. So German five years at school, which Mum was the most helpful teacher ever. Tell she thought Zwolf was really funny, which is the number 12, didn't you? 
Well, you were like, and Zeer Wolf. Yeah. That's how you taught us our numbers. <laughs> Help us remember our numbers. And, oh yeah, also another way that mum helped me in my languages, oh, Nicola, yeah. you'd be very impressed. Is So I had a speaking exam in German. And I was like, mum, I just can't remember it. So she made me learn it to the One Direction song, Night Changes. She just made me learn it to a song. And um, I panicked during my exam and I started singing. And it was all <laughs> mum's fault. Oh dear. Maybe Bye. I'll leave some room for the dusky pink, I think. I think the dusky pink would look nice as petals. And then I'll do the middles as like blue I think blue and the brown and the black and the white there's so many colors yeah but you always mum always said that she wanted to stand at the front of like airport buses right like, oh yeah mum's dream tour job guide. was to be a tour guide to foreigners but the one downfall is she can't speak any other languages so um, Nicola's fault she kept putting me off. Oh right, yeah, blame your friend. <laughs> hmm, I'm just looking at this and wondering. I might have to fill it in with some other go back with some other colours and put them in, I guess. I think so. You can always change colours again. Yeah. I'm just going random. But it's okay, I'll just clean my brush and go back. You can still see. She wasn't an oh. Sorry, I was just reading someone's comment. It wasn't for me. So I've just changed the screen. It's all right. Sarah and Lee can go back. Does it look okay? Is everything fine? Yeah, everybody's happy. Good. What other fun things can we talk about, Mum? What else? <laughs> I'm struggling to let's find not, things. Let's not talk about the wedding cake. Mum just things. goes, oh, <laughs> talk about whatever you want. And I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. Just talk, Kelly. You talk all the time. Yeah, I know, but I don't know what to talk about. What should we talk about? Mm. The fact that Charlotte and Dad are out tonight. <gasps> yeah, they're going to have a party. Then we can get a takeaway when no one's looking. Yeah. Well, what happened was, the other day, I was out, and so was Mum. And then a few couple of days later, I said to Charlotte, I said to my sister, Oh, would you like to get a chip shop with me? And she goes, mm, I had one the other day. And I said, what do you mean? And she was like, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you and Mum were out, me and Dad had a fish and chip shop without you. So yeah. So I'm just cleaning my um, brush again. Just getting all the um, grape violet off. And I think I'm going to go in with dusky pink, I think, Mummy. Yeah. Any additional ad? Would what? you go in with dusky pink for the petals? Yeah. Go yeah, on. I think so. And then I, I'm just, as long as all the colours are on there. Thank you everyone saying that it looks good. Uh, no jobs in Filmland at the moment, unfortunately. But it's okay, I'm occupied with work. Every single day I'm working. I have one day off so far. And my hours are increasing. Because it's going to be um, summer holidays soon. So everyone wants bubble tea in the summer holidays. Apparently. Well, we think. I don't know. When it was, um, you know that week in June that it was like really, really hot. So on average, we make about, on a, on a Saturday, we'll make about 210 drinks. Um, in the week, we'll make about 150, something like that. And then um, we had like that really hot week and we made something like, 300 and something drinks that was the other day we made 300 drinks over 300 drinks and then on like the hottest day so far this year we made like 280 but my boss wasn't really expecting that many people to show up so there was like less of us so it just felt a lot more stressful but it's nice it's fun it's a good job i think it's fun though who else works in a bubble tea shop just me i guess just you kelly What that does look nice. It looks nice on camera. Yeah, I think it does too. I think the pink makes it look nice as well. Let's push it back up again. Yeah, I have. There we go. Oh, I see. Yeah, I got. I'll let you off. I got you. 
He's staying in the Merchant Hotel. We've been there. Who is? Hugh Grant. <gasps> is that the one that gave me potato pancakes? No, it's the one we went for afternoon tea. Uh, <gasps> I have a drawing of that place. I, oh. I drew and um, we stayed for afternoon tea. Well, we had afternoon tea there while Dad went off and played golf. And um, I made Mum and Charlotte sit there for about three hours. While no, it was lovely. It was so, so lovely, lovely nice. Hotel. I'd love to go back there. That was a really nice place. That's when we got a hire car. And this was like the first time that like we'd been given a hire car that like when you put it in neutral, it just turns off. We were in like the centre of Belfast driving and mum pulls up to some traffic lights and a car goes off and she starts panicking. Oh, not surprised. She's like, oh no, oh, we've run out of petrol, something's gone wrong. And we were like panicking at the traffic lights and then she just put it into gear and everything was fine. It was just so funny. I didn't know it was going to be so Oh no, I didn't even know. Uh, I didn't, didn't even know a car existed that did that. It was a whole new experience. Put that right there. So there are a couple of these like um, petals that so like that have gone behind, and I wasn't sure which way they were going. So I'm just gonna go back in and like paint like this bit like blue and this bit a little bit purple. So I'm just gonna finish this little pink one here. Can you see? Yes, you can. Cool. Done. I feel like I'm at like a pottery shop or something. I think that's what I like about cocoa butter painting is that it's not as expensive as pottery shops. <laughs> it's just why, funny enough. <laughs> we used to go to them all the time for um, like birthday parties and stuff. And we always speak how like Charlotte would paint it in like five minutes and then go grab another one because I took too long, didn't I? Oh, well, it wasn't that, it's just she used to paint everything at 100 miles an hour. Cost me a fortune. How much is it like for one thing? Oh god, you'd go through like 70 rounds <gasps> in an afternoon, it was horrendous. Stop. Well, because she'd pick the most complicated statue ever. Charlotte would do two for every one you did. Oh my gosh. I just wouldn't have I bought her. I would have been like, oh Charlotte, I'm taking Kelly to the doctors. And then she wouldn't come and then I'd be like, actually we're going to fire it up. That was the name of the place. And I remember whenever there was a kids party there, I made sure I was at that party. Well, you can go and stay at Moreen. She's got two spare bedrooms and two cats, Kelly. Oh, Should we go? Yeah. Coconut is on tour. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. That's what I think it should be called. It's Coconut is on tour. Right, I'm just going to go back in and paint all these, like, um, additional, like, petal things. Because I think this petal comes through like this. So, just going in there. You can use a smaller brush, I guess, but... Number one is also quite good, so I think that goes like that. Um, I think this one here is red, so I'm going to put the red one there. I'm just going to go in and clean my brush again. Gosh. Okay. One thing it's cleaning. I'm just going to turn it around. I realised how much white. Actually, no, we do need white. I was going to say I used a lot of white. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some more reds. And just go in here, just going to darken that bit up there, and paint along here. If you wanted to be very clever and I guess make it a little bit more detailed, you could take each colour and like darken them so you can make this bit like darker and like deepen it to give it like dimension and things. But I don't think it really needs it, I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to put this one, this little one here is orange, I think. So I'm just cleaning my brush again. Off camera. Newspaper headlines, Coco Nutters arrested for kidnapping Hugh Grant and painting him with Coco. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a mug shot of us <laughs> in like aprons and like paintbrushes. That'd be really funny. Could you imagine if we met Hugh Grant? Well, I would, I would be a mess. Mum would be, blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't be able to speak. I don't think I... Actually, I did always think about this, like, because from working in film and stuff, you really have to keep your composure. No, I can't. And you have to pretend, like, oh, hi, it's so nice to meet you. Like, 
you don't say like, oh my God, I'm such a big fan of your work. Like I love it. Like, you know, because if you're meant to touch their face for the next three hours, it's just going to be awkward. You're generalising that I'm actually going to get a full sentence out of him. That's also very true. Words It'd just be... I'm not, not going to come out of my mouth. Yeah, mum would probably just like... Mm -hmm. Oh, I said I was going to put orange here. Okay, this one can only have one orange petal, I guess. Oh, well. I think that's all the petals painted. I think so. Mm -hmm. hmm? Sorry, I'm muttering. Mum's down. talking to herself now. She's really lost it. Right, so now I'm going to work on the middle bits. So I have used most of the colours. We've only got the brown, the black, the white and the blue left. So I'm just thinking about a nice way that I can do this. So I'm going to look at the pride flag again. So it's here. So I've used all of these and this one so far. So I've got these three left. So, Mum, what do you think I should do? What colours have you got left? I've got petal blue, black, brown and white. Well, you've got white your background, so you don't need to... Okay, I don't need to put any white, white down. So you're looking at which two colours? Brown, black and blue. So I could do black, then blue. Well, you could do a centre and then a ring and then another ring. So, like, what colour should I do this bit? Like, the outside bit? Oh, I did miss a little bit of one. The inside bit, would you not do... Um, would you do it black? Black, then brown, then blue in the middle. Okay, this is all on Mum. Like the one in the like the one we did on YouTube, that other one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Oops. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more cocoa butter on my palette here. So for the middle colours, I'm gonna be using the petal blue, um, brown and the right way around, or you black. Way around? No, I think the petal blue needs to be in the middle. Petal blue in the middle. Sure? No. <laughs> Well, why don't we mix it up? We'll do some of them. Just try it. Okay, right. It's all on mum, everyone. It's all her fault if it goes wrong. Okay. Is it still burning? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so petal blue in the middle, yeah? Hmm. Just do a circle <laughs> of petal blue in the middle and see what happens. Okay. So we'll start with some petal blue. Oh, wait. I'll just move my palette. Sorry. So let's do this one first, I think. So I just, I don't know how big to make it, but there needs to be enough room for three colours to go in. But doesn't the black can just be a line colour? Yeah. It doesn't need to be a big colour, does it? Well, no, I want to do them equally, you know? Okay, we'll, we'll try it out on this one first before I start painting all the other ones. Might make this, I really like petal blue, I'm a big fan. So I might do a little bit more of petal blue than the other ones. Okay, I've gone a little bit funny on that, but I can just paint over it. Can you paint over it? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. So I'm just cleaning my brush off camera, I'm sure you'll... Okay, so I have now got over here, there's like a tiny little bit on my palette. I've got the brown, so I'm going to take some cocoa butter and I'm going to mix into it, but I'm going to put some white in it because I think it might be a bit too dark and it's already quite like a nice vibrant um, piece. So I'm going to add some, some white and I think that brown is much better. You can see just on here. Oh, look at me, asbestos hands picking up my cocoa butter. I was going to say, you did well then. Thank you. Okay, I might add a little bit more white. Okay, to just soften it a bit. Oops. Kind of like an ombre, I guess. Or should I just paint the circle? Artistic mummy. I'm going back on to have a look at what you're doing. Sorry, I know you're busy working. No, it's fine. Yeah, that's it. That's what I meant. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And I'll just make the black, like, that much, I yeah, think. Yeah, the black can be quite narrow. I think so. It's got really nice texture in the middle, actually. Does it pick up? Yeah, it does. If you see on here. Yeah, no, I think it does. I really like the middle texture. I think it's really nice to paint on, actually. 
you happy with that, Mum? I'm happy with that, Kelly. I've got to get the boss's seal of approval. <laughs> okay. And we're just going a little bit more before I put the black in. I shouldn't make that black too big, I don't think. Yeah. But the blue in the middle looks nice. Yeah. Oh, I love petal blue. I think it's a nice colour. Are you doing them all the same or different? I might do the next one like blue and then brown and then a little bit of black in the middle. Okay. Switch it up, see what looks the best. I'm just cleaning my brush again. Just grabbing the black. I wonder if maybe I should put a tiny bit of white in the black, like the tiniest bit. I don't want to make it grey. I just want to like soften yeah. it a bit. Yeah, do that. Because grey isn't on the flag, so we're not... Oh wait, I need white as well. So maybe I'll just do a tiny little bit. Because white's... Or should I paint the white in the middle of the blue? I might paint the white in the middle of the blue. Opinions, maybe? You could just use the white as a highlight. Or should I do it like this? Just so it's like this, so like the black is just a line and then the white stays like that. Or should I just paint it? I'm just it? waiting for it to pick up on the camera. Oh, sorry. It's only 10 seconds behind. So what are you doing? You're doing the black at the moment. Oh, I see, and then you're just leaving the white around the edge. Should I do that or not? And just do the... Well, I'd probably paint white right to the outside edge and then I'd use the white as a highlight. What, in the middle? Well, yeah, you could just put... Or you could just even put little white lines on some of the coloured petals. Okay. Got a lot of colours to put on here. You're doing fine. Thank you. What else can I talk about? <laughs> I I really don't know what to talk about. How many cupcakes you've got to make this afternoon? Oh, how many cupcakes have I got to make? 40 minimum. That's the order, then you've got others to do as well. That's fine. Okay, so that's the black on there now. So I'm just going to clean my brush. Yeah, it looks better painted black to the edge. And then just go in with some white around the edge. Uh, on the petals. I'll do that at the end, I think. Let's just... Should I do the next one blue or should I carry on doing it like... Oh, sorry. Should I do this one? Like the outer bit blue or should I just do them the same? I quite like them the same. Okay, let's do them the I same. I think they look nice. Okay. I just need to make sure I get this circle in the middle right. You're muttering under your breath, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just watching myself put the blue down because I want to make it like as central and spherical as possible, you know? Like that. And it's pretty pretty central and then do the other one at the same time yeah you've got the white in the background that's also very true but you can also use white on you could just put some highlights bits of white on some of the petals that will just lift it yeah i think so and stop it looking flat white is good for that or in my new world you can stick down some new sprinkles <laughs> <laughs> which i've been throwing over everything the silver balls have taken a turn. The silver balls have had to take it. Well, I did put a couple of silver balls on last night's one, but it was mainly the white ones. Okay, so I'm just cleaning my brush again. And then I'm going to take more of the brown. I'm going to add some more white to it because I need to make some more. A little bit more. Okay. There we go. And then... Um, and just do the same again, same way. What else do I talk about, Mummy? <laughs> what are you having for lunch? <laughs> I eat the same thing for lunch every day. I'm very boring, I guess. You're doing fine, Kelly. Yeah. You're nearly there. I know, look at me go. I guess it's better when I'm not actually on camera because I'm like I don't know do you look at yourself and you on camera do you think I look a little bit bonk no every time I go live I'm normally criticizing my hair which I normally don't internalize it it normally just comes straight out yeah well, I go, what's happened to my hair 
just like me, I literally went on camera and I thought, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what happens. That when, is, that, I was like, is that what I look like? Do I still have that lazy eye that I thought I didn't have? <laughs> like, oh God. That's what normally happens when I go live. It's just like, oh no. Yeah, by the time you go back to those other petals, you'll find that it will have dried out, Kelly. Yeah, okay. And then just, the white just the black now. Speck on all the white, um, like even a line, do you know what I mean? Mm. Pro tip from Tracy. But it's got to be dry. If it's not dry, what will happen? It'll just pick the other colours up. Wait, am I Nicholas doing... Nicholas got a what? Croc monsieur for lunch? What on earth is that? Is that like a jam bun? Is it a French jam bun? Nicola. Oh. <laughs> I've got hummus. Hummus, vegetarian, scotch eggs and a yoghurt. Maybe some mango. How adventurous. Jamie wants to know. I'm not sure I know the answer to this or you, Kelly, but anyway, say, um, 75 years ago, my art teacher said that black and white were not colours. They were that is true. The absence of colour. That is correct. Have ideas changed or is this still true? This is still true. You're taught it in art. Like, do you ever, like, I remember at school when people would be like, oh, what's your favourite colour? And people would be like, black. And they're like, black isn't a colour. It's because um, they are the absence of colour. Because, do you remember on my colour theory, I said that, um, like, basically, if you use black and white, you can desaturate a colour because you make grey. So you're taking the colour away. You use the two colours to remove colour. And then you lighten and darken a colour. So when you add white to things, you're removing the original colour. So if I was adding white to red, the more white you add, the less like red it's going to be. Like that. Does that make sense? And then like when you have like, I don't know, blue, and you add black to blue, like the more black you add, you're just removing the um, the blue from it. So that is correct, yes. That's a free colour trip. <laughs> Nearly done. I just it looks lovely. Thank you. I just realised there's a little leaf, like a tiny little leaf on the side that's going to annoy me. Oh, I've knocked that off. I say that. What? That's going to annoy me. That's going to annoy me. I just, I just, pro, that's how much time I've been spending with you. That we've picked <laughs> up the same lingo. That looks really good, Kelly. Are Thank you. Pleased you. With it? Yeah. Try putting some white on the petals though, just mm. see if that doesn't. Or gonna... in the middle, little, even a little blob. Okay, I'm just going to put that little orange bit there. Okay. Okay. Oh, where's the, I was about to put, looking for some water to put my paintbrush in. Okay, so just gonna grab some white. Pop it in the middle, yeah? What do you think? I would put. Uh, I've put it in the middle. Yeah, but to one side? Or oh, well, no, I've just no. put it straight up in the middle. Did you do it bang in the middle? Yeah. I would have put it slight to one side. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but Go seeds aren't reflective. Hover and have a look at you now. Should I paint on the leaves? Yeah, you can do. Yeah, no, that's fine. You, can you see the difference when it's brightening up? Look on the screen. You just do the odd streak. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. A streak and a dot even. Just on the side of the petals. Yeah, but light picks up in different places. Okay. Well, you did A-level art, not me. But I didn't learn anything. They just said it's some paint go. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's have a look at it now and see what it looks like on screen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks better. It needs white. It's all gone quiet now as well. Because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, but you're nearly done, you see. That's why. Let's have a look compared to the two. Yeah, massive difference between the two. You need the white. Yay, okay, I'll carry on doing that then. I'm just doing them randomly, to be honest. I'm not particularly thinking um, realistically, I guess. If I was thinking, oh, where is the light picking up? I would, I'm just, I'm just going for wherever. I don't think that The colours have got to be dry. Yeah, they are dry. Yeah. How's that? 
Angela's just had your parcel. She says you've got lovely writing. Oh, thank you. Well, it was definitely you, because I didn't do it yesterday. Sometimes my writing is real bad. I don't think it was me. I'm pretty certain you did, Angela, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It depends what mood I'm in, I guess. Or depends how many orders we got and how stressed I am. This go in here with no. Into one of those. Oh, you need that white, definitely. But it looks really nice with the white. Yeah, I agree. See, now I'm concentrating. I've gone quiet, Kenny. I've gone quiet. This always happens. It's the one time I concentrate. Okay. And the last one. Oh, should I put it in the middle again? Yeah. Make consistent. See, it definitely, definitely looks better. Yeah, I agree. There you go. Everyone oh, else sorry. is agreeing. Okay. You've done a good job. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Are you pleased with it? Yeah. We have discussions, me and Kelly, about our work. She shows me what she's done, and I go, you like that, don't you? And she goes, yeah. As long as the rule is, <laughs> if you show the other person... Well, it's not a rule. It's just, like, the, the thing is, if you show the other person, it means that you like it. And if you go, oh, yeah, I just finished the painting, it's like, oh. Yeah, that didn't go well. You're like, show me the painting. What's the matter with it? <laughs> we always know when there's a problem. Hayley's just got her order. She's not only listening to us, but she's um, she's getting the order coming through the door at the same time. <laughs> Angela's going to make basket cookies. I'm looking forward to Done. seeing those. There you go. Ta-da! Push it up a little bit. Yeah, I'll hold it as well. I'll leave it down there for a second. Oh, you're going to hold just, it up yeah, so people right can see it. Ta-da! Ooh, we did it. We've done it. How long do I hold it here for? <laughs> I put it down now. Put it down. Should Just I... push the screen back. Push it up a bit on the screen. Just give me something to look at. So it. that's all of the cuts. So we used how many colours in the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? Twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So we used eleven different colours. So all of these are available on the website. They're all on the website? All on the website. Most of them are in the cocoa butter painting kits, except from... Grape violet, cerulean blue, and the tangerine. But I think you can make the you can make tangerine. With you red can and make tangerine with red and yellow. But that looks very nice. Right. Okay. Yeah. Should I turn it back? Hello. <laughs> I am here. Haven't you done well? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for everybody that has tuned in this morning to watch Kelly do her painting um, because I she'll tell you I backed her into a corner to do it, which of course I did. Um, but because she's so talented and clever and lovely and um, it is nice for her to do some painting live. So um, thank you very much for watching this morning. Thanks everyone for um, coming. In terms of lives myself, I am... Um, I am live Saturday on Let's Shop Kate Live, but I'm not live on Thursday because I'm up to my neck in a wedding cake at the moment, a very complicated wedding cake, which will definitely um, be seen. You'll see it towards the end of the week, but I'm very, very busy. The tangerine is in the um, fox painting kit. Oh, there Someone you go. Someone asked. It is yeah, in that kit. It is in the fox but painting kit. But it's not kit. in the beginner's cocoa butter painting yeah. kit. So, um, yes, thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. You've done very well. We'll get this up on YouTube so you can watch what you like honestly um <laughs> we'll get this up onto youtube so you can see it but thank you very much for joining us this morning thanks for coming go and have your lunch now <laughs> all right take care everyone we'll see you all soon bye bye, bye. you've got to reach <laughs> <laughs>